Have you ever been rejected or cast aside or sent away as being an extra who's not needed? I have had that happen to me many, many times. And boy, it really does not feel good at all. So that got me thinking. In my career of sewing, making funny raincoats or shop coats, or making my light art and glass and metal art, I've had to cast away leftovers and pieces where I made mistakes and had to reject them. I started to feel sorry for them. So I came up with this very interesting idea. I don't know if it will work, but let's give it a try. I'm not afraid of doing something and making mistakes. To make mistakes, I learn. So here's a potential mistake, or it may be a new wonder. In the course of my work, there are many, many rejects. He's left, you know, pieces cut off and left over. Parts of sculptures where I change my mind. Pieces of sculptures where I weld too much and it gets warped. Um, another one where I changed my mind, a bad mistake. This was supposed to have been welded here, not here. I had to reject it. And here is the ultimate cast off. This is a saw blade I bought from the restore. Somebody else could have bought it and used it as a saw blade. Well, I cut it up. See the missing pieces? Those were actually cut out using a plasma cutter and are on another sculpture. So this is now a reject. So, I'm going to try to resurrect this, give it new life. I'll first grind off the blade so you won't get cut. I'll polish it and then maybe weld it onto something like this, like that. Then weld this onto this, so it has a stand. So we have a whole new sculpture, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Or I could take, take, take this, and take this, like so. Now we have a small sculpture, perhaps from somebody's bedside table. When I'm done with these sculptures, here's what I think I might try doing. If you live here in Bellingham, Washington, in the extreme northwest corner of the continental United States, you might see some interesting sculptures left in various places here in Bellingham, Washington. You might find something left on the sill of the window of a vacant storefront. You might find something dangling by a wire from a bus stop sign or a no parking sign. You might find this sculpture clamped by an old clamp that I buy for 50 cents at the restore on the post of a no parking sign somewhere here in Bellingham. Or you might find something left on a park bench at Boulevard Park or Cornwall Park or a single place. You might even find, I might change my mind, this. Polish it and clean it up, defang the teeth, and then drill a small hole and make it a metal that you can hang. I might even provide the string. And then slip this between the books and the shelves in the reference section of the Bellingham Public Library. Of course, it will be safe, all the teeth be defanged. I will test it by rubbing it with my hand. So if I don't get cut, you know, it should be safe. Something like that. Or if I'm really so bold, I will weld this clean to this, put it on a stand, and somehow get into the chambers for this Bellingham City Council and leave it anonymously on the podium at the Bellingham City Council in time for tonight's monthly City Council meeting. Who knows? So, let's get started. 
Flip for the fun of it. Let's take this. Quite dirty. This was exposed to the, to the plasma cutter. I'm going to clamp it on this little table here, on this little jig, like so. And this is a tool called an angle grinder. First thing I can put on the mast. That's why I'm wearing the shop coat. This is going to spray a lot of metal dust all over the place. So here we go. stand-up sculpture with this. Uh, what really comes in handy with doing supports is discarded chunks of flatware. I use a lot of stainless steel flatware for my artwork and I have a box full of discarded chunks of it. Rejects. So let me get started by taking one of these uh, butter knives and you'll know, weld it to the saw blade something like this and nothing fancy it's not it doesn't have to pass any certification so it's just gonna be a simple tack weld something like this okay and uh, let's see here we go Now, while well, that's cool enough, I'm going to put together the stand. I'm going to use these, which is completely scrap, for the stand. Let's see, let's try it this way, like that, and there. Okay, now what we're going to do, we take this. It's too boring to be up straight. Let's do it at an oblique angle like this. That's going to be an interesting challenge because this has to be clamped in place before I start welding it. So let's see what we can do. We've got a vise here. Uh, now the vise will keep up and down, but let's take the vise and sit it on a few pieces of metal like this so it's at an angle. Now hopefully this is not going to fall. Then we're going to take these two pieces of metal, uh, the half inch steel, um, bars, put them in the vise, we have to move, the, uh, see, move this over like so, we're going to take the saw blade and the stand, put that between the two pieces of steel, like something like this, and then we'll tighten the vise like that, that's kind of what we hope to see then, um, you can tuck this a little higher so the angle is a little more acute. Then whack that over there like that. So let's try something like that. 
sure this is locked down solid. That's clamped. That's not going to go anywhere. Very important when you're welding to make sure that whatever the heck you're doing is not going to go anywhere. Get a weld now. Now this part of the blade is probably cool, and it is. I'm going to go ahead, carefully re um, loosen and disengage. The we now have a brand new sculpture from Rejects. So I'll find a suitable place here in Bellingham to put this. So if you find it, it's yours. So let's set that aside over here now. We still have we still have this. Well, let's see what we can figure out to do what we can figure out with that. Let's take this maybe, put that as a base. So we take this, and that's not gonna be enough to hold it up by itself. But of course, we got some silverware. Let's try this like that. And Grab another, let's see, grab this, this over here like this, so weld those together. You go right on, like that. Now, uh, take the vise. Let's get a couple of these out. Well, the oblique angle is not so great. Just for variety. And we'll take the other part, put it in the vise, like that. Now, mind you, this is still hot. So I have to be kind of careful walking around it. You'll move it with that. So it's closer to the bars. Now we take this, we'll put it in between the metal, the metal bars. Something like that. But carefully, hopefully without dropping everything. I can, I can hold on to this. Let's tighten the vise down. Ah, do this. Oops. Loosen it a little bit. I gotta get this. Do that again. Alright, like that. Tighten it. Um, move this. Try that. You know, we now weld the sculpture to the base.
Alright, now, holding it here in case it's not good balance, I'm going to remove, loosen the clamps. And it looks like that's going to stay put. It's a little bit. That's fine. Okay, so now we got two brand new sculptures. Now, we have two brand new sculptures from my rejects. So, I'm going to put these in the bag of my bicycle and venture forth here in yours truly Bellingham. And they're going to end up somewhere. If you see them, Please take them into your home and into your heart. Thank you.